Welcome back, divers, to a brand new video on Hell Divers 2. We're back, and we got some new images of the incoming Illuminate and some other items that are coming to the game. The new Major Order is also looking very good, and we're actually on pace to get it completed with some time to spare, plus more. So hit that like and subscribe button for the future invasion of the Illuminate. The new Major Order is going swimmingly, and we're near completion of it, divers. We already have Urata Prime and Turing under our control, and we're nearly done on Akama 4, with a predicted time of 3 hours and 10 minutes, and that's only with 25,000 divers. If this has changed, I will put it up on screen for you now. But by this time tomorrow, we should have all four planets under our control, with a bit of time to spare, so that's great to see. We also have some new strategic guidance in-game, which I keep saying this, but I absolutely love these tidbits. Seeing how Super Earth is advising us of what to do and which planet needs help or we're going to lose something on said planet is great. Obviously, with them putting forward, you have to do this planet or you have to do this on this planet, kind of goes against the major order, but that's exactly what these are meant to do. It's meant to break us all off so we don't get the major orders done in just incredibly fast time. But I do like all this is happening. Like the one we got in game at the moment. If we don't prioritize the defense of Asia Pass, we will lose the SEAF training facility on that planet. These story tidbits are a great way to keep players engaged, as I have seen quite a few players leave the game completely, which does suck. But if Arrowhead can keep these story updates coming and these new little strategic guidances in game, I do think it's going to make them engaging for players, and we will probably see some players come back just because of this new way of doing the story mechanic, which is absolutely great. The new Daily Order Divers as well is to complete six secondary objectives, so a nice easy 15 medals right there, citizens. We also have right by here now, which has just been released, the brand new Viper Commandos Warbond trailer. Take a look. It happens all the time, divers. I make a video talking about something, and if we're going to see it or not, then they drop a trailer for it. So here it is. The new premium war bond arriving next week is the Viper Commandos, and I must admit, it looks pretty good. As you've just seen with the trailer as well, this is coming from the Twitter X account, which has quite a bit of information which we have actually talked about in the past. Obviously, it's got the normal, the weapons, you know, we got a brand new Liberator Carbine. We also got a secondary triple barrel shotgun now. And we also got a throwing knife. But then it goes into a few things like experimentational infusion boosters, you know, boost movement. There's a new armor, you know, the twin, uh, twig snapper, excuse me. Both feature the new peak physique passive. But the one that gets me is this by here. Finally, we wanted to share that based on your feedback, we're changing our approach to war bonds. Firstly, we're slowing down the pace that we release them to allow a little bit more time to polish them. We'll confirm that new time frame will be in the future. So obviously we were talking about this and just seeing this now is actually really, really good. And secondly, as you can see with Viper Commandos, we're experimenting with war bond item arrangement to make room for new types, customization and higher quality armor weapons all with stronger theming. Let us know what you think, and thank you for your support, Helldivers. So with this, it does show now that, like we were talking about with the poles, they are going to be spreading out the war bonds, which 
I am actually really, really happy with. But with this new one, as you can see, the new primary, the new secondary, but we also got new skins now for Eagle One, for the Undergrowth Shuttle, and even for the Exosuit, and also the Hellpods. So there's a couple of things coming into the game now where they are going to be doing a lot more different things, which I am absolutely thrilled about. Now we have the Leaks Divers, so if you don't want to see what's coming, skip to the next chapter. The Illuminate are coming Divers, and we got some more images to show off. These three here are actually marked down in the game files as three statues, to which we will see them in an artifact retrieval objective, which, for starters, if it is a retrieval objective mission, I'm all for it. Retrieval missions and objectives are normally some of the more fun missions in games, be it Uncharted all the way to the GTA series, but fingers crossed we get some really fun retrieval missions for Helldivers too. The next image is the Illuminate Warp Gate, which is listed in the game files as Teleporter 1, so by the looks of things, we will more than likely be seeing bigger or smaller gates to accommodate the size of the enemies. Now the following two images are currently unknown in the game, so here's hoping we get some cool use out of the green crystal object and the blue rock. Hell, maybe the crystal is a source of energy that we need to collect and put somewhere to power facility, so that would be more fun and engaging than just collect the hard disk from here and upload it here. Even though it's similar, maybe something like the TCS missions, but incorporate the disk missions into one huge objective. The crystal can power a training facility, or who knows, maybe even a crash bomber plane. That'd be fun. I think that'd be absolutely great. But last, we got a new image of the staff, which would be used by one of the Illuminate called Guy, where we also have this other shot of him as well holding it, which to me, these just look amazing. I am really looking forward to the Illuminate coming into the game, as it will give us something new to go against. I love the bots, bugs get a bit of love too, but the Illuminate is going to take this game to the next level, which I actually do believe that. So let us know what you think about this down below, divers, and let's keep spreading democracy.